Greetings, it is I, Amazing K, Karen K. Rush, and welcome back to another segment of Celebrate Every Day with Amazing K. Today is Friday, July 7th, and we are going to celebrate National Rock and Roll Day. Yay! We're also going to celebrate National World Chocolate Day. Yay! And we're also going to celebrate National Father and Daughter Take a Walk Day. Yay! And we're also going to celebrate Global Forgiveness Day. Yay! So let's talk about first National Day of Rock and Roll. So this is July 7th, and this is the day that we celebrate rock and roll. Who loves rock and roll? Give me that old time rock and roll. Rock and roll is a music that has been around for a long time. It became very, very popular in the 1950s and is made up of that rebellious uh, rock and roll music. Before that, music was like soft and subtle and things like that. And a lot of times the adults were thinking that teenagers and kids that loved rock and roll were like the rebellious type because that's what it kind of represented back then. But now it has just really been blown up to be a very respectable genre of music. So we have greats, you know, uh, that have contributed to that type of style of music. We have Elvis Presley, uh, we have Janis Joplin, we have the Beatles, and we just did a Beatles uh, tribute last week, or it was in June, I believe. Um, also, Prince is in the rock and roll, uh, <laughs> Jimi Hendrix, Elton John. So how are we celebrate rock and roll? Play and blast your favorite rock and roll music. Make a playlist, you know, share it with some people. Get up and dance, you know, dance to some rock and roll music. Because, you know, dancing is a very healthy, energetic, and it's a way to help you stay healthy. To move, just to move your body and move it to some rock and roll. Because today is National Day of Rock and Roll. Yay! So, also today is World Chocolate Day. Oh my gosh, chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate? Well, I know some people don't love chocolate, but chocolate is the day that we celebrate today. There's lots of different types of chocolate, but the main chocolate is, uh, of course, <laughs> chocolate, uh, white chocolate, uh, sweet chocolate, oh, unsweetened chocolate, sweetened chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate, though milk chocolate. Those are the main chocolates that we have. So talk about chocolate. You know, it comes from Mexico. It's been around since 1100 BC, but there are benefits to chocolate. A lot of people think chocolate is just like sweet, sweet candy, but there are some benefits to chocolate. And everything is in moderation, okay? And we're not just going to keep eating, 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 and be gluttons. No, moderation, because it can have some, some great things. It can have like um, antioxidants, especially that dark chocolate. Look it up. Google it. What is the benefits of chocolate? But I know it helps lower blood pressure. And some people are like, what? Lower blood pressure? Well, yeah. I mean, if you eat it in moderation, that's what it does. And it helps the, uh, it's a mood booster too. It helps with the endorphins and, 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 and dopamine and all that stuff. So if you're feeling down, get you a piece of chocolate so you can fill up. <laughs> But don't fill up on chocolate. No, you don't want to do that. So, because you might have a tummy ache. And you know, dogs can't eat chocolate and different sheep and different animals and stuff like that. I learned that in a play I was in, <laughs> that sheep can't eat chocolate. So listen, get yourself a chocolate bar today or make yourself some, your favorite chocolate dessert. Go to a restaurant, treat yourself because you deserve it. Okay, so that's National Chocolate Day. It's also, oh my goodness, this day is so wonderful. It is National Father and Daughter Take a Walk Day. Isn't it nice to take a walk with your father? Now, if you don't have your father with you, you can still take a walk and think about him on your walk. That's what I would do with my father. Neither one of my fathers are here with me. No father-in-laws, no father, no bonus father. But he's not even grandfather. But if you maybe you could take your grandfather for a walk. I know it's not grandfather, but he's your father. He's your father's father. But what do you do on that walk? You bond. This is a day where daughters and fathers can bond together and walk. They can have conversations. They can, you know, 
first they're doing a good thing. They're walking. They're having that physical activity. That's going to help with both the hurts of the child and the uh, uh, the adult. And it doesn't have to be a child and a, and a father. It could be an adult child and a father. But walking today with your father is the day you should just grab him, call him up, say, hey, dad, let's go for a walk. And then go for a walk. And if you're a dad, you want just take your daughter. Hey, daughter, let's go for a walk. And then have these. You know, you can have a conversation starters. There is, if you don't know what to say, there's a website for that. It's www.familywell.com. Um, no, verywellfamily.com. And it gives you conversation starters of what to do, you know, for your family, for your daughter and, 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 and uh, father walk day. So go ahead and do that. Grab your daughter, grab your, and just have a walk. Look, look at these couples, aren't they? Isn't that wonderful? It's just a wonderful thing, okay? You know, time to slow down in this busy world and take a walk and get to know your father or get to know your daughter. If you have a baby, then you should tell her all of the things that, that that you have planned for her. You know, awesome. I know some fathers that just had some daughters. Um, just want to give them a shout out. You are going to be the apple of their eye if you're not already. Okay. All right. So that's Father and Daughter Walk Day. It's also World Global, Global Forgiveness Day. So this is a day that we forgive. Forgiveness is from the heart, and sometimes forgiveness is not just for the person, it's mainly for you, because you don't want to walk around with unforgiveness, because that can be not healthy. We talked about walking as being healthy, unforgiveness is not healthy. Healthy. We talked about chocolate being healthy, unforgiveness is not healthy. You don't want to walk another day with unforgiveness in your heart. Let this day of global world forgiveness be a day that you think back, what is it that you haven't forgiven? Maybe it's yourself. Maybe you haven't forgiven yourself for things. Go ahead and do that because it'll be nothing but better for you. You want to be better. You don't want unforgiveness to, to delve in the heart because you know what? It's going to cause other health problems. Yeah, it's going to cause other health problems. Physical, physical. Look it up. Google it. It is not a good thing. So today of world forgiveness, who can you forgive? If you can start with yourself, do that. Who else you can forgive? Maybe when I was talking about father and walk, father and daughter walk day, maybe you, you can't forgive your father for something. You know, you can do that today. You can try. If you have problems with it, pray. Pray and ask for forgiveness. We ask for forgiveness for God. So how can we ask him to forgive us if we can't forgive others? And I know sometimes it's hard because you're like, oh, Amazing K, you don't know what they did to me. Oh, Amazing K, you don't know how they made me feel. Oh, Amazing K, you don't know. No, I don't know. But you know. But how long are you going to keep knowing that? How long are you going to keep rehashing that? Because you can go forward. It can keep you from going forward. You could probably go as high as you can, but that unforgiveness is stopping that. So get rid of that today on Global Unforgiveness. I mean, Forgiveness Day. Okay? And you'll feel better. You will. All right? Okay, don't forget, we still have the contest going on where you can win a trip for two just by helping people subscribe to this channel. Three people subscribing with the recommendation of your name. Now, people are subscribing, but no one's putting in the comments who made them subscribe. You have to have your name that you recommended three people. And those three people have to put your name in the comments in order for your name to go in the drawing. Because I got trips to give away, y'all. Come on, let's give them away. I got trips. But you got to follow the rules of the contest, okay? You can win two nights and three days getaway to a place of your choice. But you have to get people to subscribe to this channel. At least three. Your name will go in the drawing. And if you are the highest one, you automatically get a trip. Or two. I might get two or three the highest ones. Just come on and let's subscribe. Because this is a fun channel. And if you enjoy it, put in the comments how you enjoy it. You know, click that bell so you can get all the notifications of when we are having a segment. 
of Amazing K. Celebrate every day. All right. So I'll see you on the flip side. Be bold. Be beautiful. Be you. When I say you, I mean your unique self because everybody is unique and everybody can celebrate every day. Bye-bye.